Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we will be learning about stemming in natural language processing. If you stick till the end of this video, you will have an idea of what stemming is, the different types of techniques used for stemming such as Porter stemmer, Lancaster stemmer and Snowball stemmer. And I will also be explaining this using Python code so that it will be easier for you to understand and implement stemming in your next NLP project. If you are new to the channel, please do hit the subscribe button and turn on bell notification to stay updated. Stay tuned. What is stemming? Stemming in natural language processing is a process of converting a word into its root form or base form. It may not be the same as a dictionary based root word as the word is looked through a series of conditions to determine how the word is cut. The input to the stemmer will always be a tokenized word. Now if you want to know more about tokenization and how to perform tokenization, you can check out my video on this topic. I'll add a link to it in the description down below. Now let's look at the different types of stemmer and how to implement them using python code. To do this, let's head over to Jupyter Notebook. So the first type of stemmer that we are going to discuss is a Porter stemmer. Porter stemmer is one of the oldest form of stemming techniques and it is known for its speed and simplicity. Porter stemmer converts a word into its root word by stripping off the suffixes of the word. It uses a rule to determine whether it is wise or not to strip off the suffix. Let's see how to implement it. Now since it's from the NLTK package, let's first load the NLTK package. And then let's import the Porter stemmer. And let's load it. Now let's create a sample set of words to perform stemming. Now that we have a set of words, let's perform stemming on it. So I am going to print the original word along with the stem word for a better understanding. So I am going to do that using a for loop. So what I am doing here is creating a for loop that goes through all the words in the words list and then displays the original word along with the stem word. And as we can see, all the words are reduced to their root forms. Let's now perform stemming on a sentence. So let's create a sample text. So as I said earlier, the input to a stemmer must always be tokenized text. So let's perform tokenization on this sentence and then stem it. Now that we have performed word tokenization, let's perform stemming on it. The next stemmer that we are going to discuss is the Lancaster stemmer. The Lancaster stemmer is a fast and more aggressive kind of stemmer and as a result, it may overstem the words. To perform stemming using Lancaster stemmer, let's load it from the NLTK library. Now I am going to use the same set of words as before. And I'm just changing the stemmer. So over here instead of Porter, it'll be Lancaster. And as we can see, all the words are reduced to the root forms. Similarly, let's perform Lancaster stemming on the sentence.
As you can see, the effect of the Lancaster stemmer is more prominent over here. Now finally, let's discuss about the snowball stemmer. The snowball stemmer is an advancement over the porter stemmer as you can map non-English words also. It is also faster and aggressive than porter stemmer. Let's look at how to implement the snowball stemmer. So let's load it from NLTK package. So we are loading the snowball stemmer and then we are setting the language as English. Now as before, first let's perform stemming on the set of words. I am just changing the stemmer here. And as we can see, all the words are reduced to their root forms. And now let's perform snowball stemming on the sentence. To make the difference between the stemmers more clear, I'll put up a screenshot of the sentence that we stem using the three different stemmers. So now you can easily understand the effect of the three different stemmers. That brings us to the end of this video. Hope you got an idea of implementing stemming in natural language processing. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you found this video useful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.